What's up everybody? Viper here. Today we're doing another base tour. This one was sent to me by Numbat. He's a Russian streamer. Uh, he speaks Russian in his videos and he's got videos on Myst and Breath Age and quite a few other games. So we're going to go ahead and get started and we're at the White House right now and this I think was like one of his first bases in his world because he's pretty much moved everything out but he's got nice big walls here so he can come back here and you know do what he wants and he's got some farming going got some corn one's ready to harvest and the rest are are kind of doing crappy it looks like really love the the farming aspect in the game it's kind of a pain in the butt all right now we're gonna move on to the next area all right, we're cruising here at the uh, Berserker Mine, and he said he built some uh, a safe area in here. I kind of hope so, because I didn't really bring too much weapons. All right, I don't hear any baddies. Oh, he's got quite a few areas here blocked off. Makes it a whole lot easier if you're coming back through and you actually end up hitting some infected. Alright, coming up on the Berserker. He's got a nice little, uh, he's got a nice cabin set up. So he can farm this stuff without worrying too much about him. Also has nice little, uh, fences. And did he put anything up here? Oh, he's got a little gate up here, too, so he can come in here and, you know, if they ever make it where infected can actually, will spawn in here. You know, like on a normal basis or during a mist, then he's got places to run and hide. But once you, once you fight the Berserker once, it's really pointless to even mess with him again. So it's, I don't know, I always like to just fence him off or... You know, put him in a cabin like that, just so I don't have to worry about him. So I'm going to get out of here, and we're going to go, I think, to the city. I love it when you wreck the vehicle and uh, a tree gets stuck in it. Off we go. Luckily, that sniper did not bother me. I don't know if he's alive or dead, but head into the city. All right, here we go in the city, and he's got a nice little tower here with uh, a little cabin to uh, track the bandits. But I kind of like the way he's got uh, the way up here. He doesn't use, uh, he's not using any kind of ladders, but he has these little spears. So you can jump up on them, if I can do it, and then you can get up here. And there's really no way, you know, the, the bandits can, can come over here. Like, for me, when I do it, I just have a little ladder up, and then I put some fences around it. But this way, you don't even need to bother with that. You just throw some spears in there, and you're good to go. Oh, damn it. See? Pretty easy. Problem is you get a sprained ankle when you come down. But I could have just, just drove my truck up to it. And got in that way. That way I could just jump down on my truck. A nice little idea. All right, next we're going to go to his little lake base, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, get rid of my sprained ankle. So I'm going to go ahead and load the save. And here we are at his lake base. Uh, looks like Kate's actually standing there waiting for me to come home. Got a nice little parking spot with a little light on it. 
And he got a little shed out here to keep his uh, car parts. Got to have the jack stand. And then you got a gate here to close open for the infected. Got some blue barrels with some water in it. A couple burn barrels. His blacksmith station. I see actually decorated. Oh, what do we got in here? We got a little bit of metal. Somebody's been making ammo somewhere. All right, he's got his little chickens. Got some chicken legs on the grill. Oh, we can sit here. Sit here and look at the water and contemplate life. It would be kind of cool if you could do some fishing or something where it was actually, you know, some kind of interactive thing. But we'll see. Or you can actually step up, up on these. Not like when you actually have them on the ground where you can't get up here. I do wish they'd fix this last step, but it can be used to keep the infected from climbing up there. What we got in here? Some ammo. A bunch of machetes. Just a little bit of armor. More ammo. Oh, this is weapon boxes. Spears. Spears galore. He's ready to do some spearing. He's got his little chicken coop over here. Let's go ahead and take one of these with us. He's got his little feeder. He got some food. Oh, is this one named anything? What's your name? Coltby? Alright, we're gonna pick him up. Come on. What's this guy's name? Numbat. Oh, nice. And then he's got a bunch of uh, lockers or suitcases here so you can keep uh, the chickens inside. Yeah, they're all empty. It just saves them from having to actually build fences. You can build fences up here. It's kind of a pain, though. Sometimes you'll have to put like a uh, drop a leaf down and then you can build on top of it. But I assume he knows that since he's got a. Uh, those fences over there. He just wanted to use the uh, suitcases. All right, what do we got up here? A couple drying racks, some sandbags. Now he can look out, look over the lake, and if he wants to just take a dip, oh, that would be so fun. You know, like a nice little diving board right here. Oh, we can, nice. we can actually climb up, too. Nice. Oh, whoops. You know, hell, I'd like to have a house like this. You know, you can just go up here, run up, and then jump in. Oh, yeah, I forgot to check this room up here. He does have lights everywhere, so... We got a bunch of sewing kits, gloves, and his clothes. A couple little shell casings, nice. I always like it when people decorate it. Just kind of looks more homey, you know. Nice little bed up here. And I think that's it for this floor. Uh, we never did check the top floor. And we've got some wood logs, some coal, or charcoal, fuel. He does have a generator. Nice. We'll light this place up at night just so we can see what it looks like. That's a lot of batteries. Water, logs, logs. Oh, he's got a nice little buddy out here. Got him. All right, what's he got in here? All right, he's got a workbench three, a repair bench, reloading bench. He's already upgraded that as well, and a saw bench. Looks like he's got pretty much everything. Where's the still at? You don't have a still? Oh, there's a still. What? What are these two arguing about now? She's got a bag of seeds. She's, maybe she needs to go to work. 
They're over here arguing, guarding the still or something. All right, what we got in his lockers? Oh, we got car parts, more car parts, bottles. Now he's killed a berserker quite a few times, four times at least. Scrap components, just all building supplies. Nothing crazy. Oh, he's got quite a bit of salt, booze, nice. Go ahead and drink one of those. It's been a rough day. Go ahead and eat that too. We've got to raid his refrigerators. I mean, come on. All right, his refrigerators. Oh, he's got a, quite a bit of them chickens in here. And regular meat, some more booze. Nice. Oh, wow. She just changed seats on me. She changed seats. Scott left. Where'd Scott go? I don't know where Scott went. He's probably off moping somewhere. Oh, there he is. He's out here on the back porch. I guess he want to look at the chickens. All right, let me bring you back at night. Let me go ahead and light this place up, and uh, we'll see how it looks. All right, it's 20 hundred. Everything's lit up pretty well. Uh, Scott has taken over uh, Kate's duties, so now he's guarding the uh, the entrance, which is nice of him. Go ahead and close that up. All right, stay safe, buddy. And everything's pretty much well lit. There's no real dark areas. Even up here, it's nice and lit. Does there even have any lights in here? No, but they're fading through. And of course, you don't want any lights in your watchtower. That way they, they can't see you. And there we got another base tour. Thanks, Numbat, for sending me your save file. I really enjoy doing these base tours because you can you can get different ideas from different people, and uh, you know we can kind of share them among the community. Like those little those spear trick. Um, I never really thought about it, even using spears as like a way to actually climb up, but it actually works pretty good. Definitely check out uh, Numbat. I'm gonna put a, a link in description for his YouTube channel as well. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch y'all later.